Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom and I am here with you today to do a November reading for the sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, this could be your energy or the energy of someone attached to you. Please be careful of what you take on as your own. I have set the intention that if anyone who watches this will get the messages they need for their highest good. I have said my prayer, called in my spirit guides, and they will be with us for this reading. I am starting with the um, Sacred Traveler deck to get the opening energies, energies that are out and about around you, and see what's going on for you, Capricorn. Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn in the month of November? Capricorn in November. <laughs> Boy, you got a lot going on, Capricorn. Bottom of our deck here is passion and pleasure. Savor your life, Capricorn. Have some fun. Enjoy your life. Have full sensory experiences. Bring your all to whatever you do and really enjoy it. Okay. So Capricorn, probably the biggest news for you here in the month of November is that Pluto is moving, moving from your sign where it's been for the last 15 years and firmly placing itself into Aquarius. So that might bring a bit of relief to you. Um, um, throughout this month and that happens mid month um, around or just after the full moon in Taurus on the 17th. We have uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. All right, and you're the great bounty Capricorn, right? You're going down deep within you and you're discovering your true and real self. We have mystic healer. Healing energy flows through you. So you may be stepping into being a healer or either that you're just healing yourself and that energy emanates out of you. Other people can feel it. They can see the difference in you. And joy and delight. Open your heart to joy, Capricorn. Open it right up. Let your beautiful love chakra open up. Light it up for the world to see. And valiant courage. Take action with passion. Go after you want what you want and take action in your life and wandering path enjoy the journey right if you're on some sort of a path enjoy every minute of it okay let it be a great journey in your life and distant thunder clear the air like you might feel this energy coming towards you maybe you're in a disagreement with someone or something some energy in your life and it might be time to clear the air and solitude in silence, peace prevails. And that is the truth. You know, I find the most silence in my life when I come down to my room here and I do my readings and I just have this peace that surrounds me. I'm able to think clearer. Maybe that's what you need to do for yourself, Capricorn. And infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Pay attention. Keep an eye out for it. It's coming in. And narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully, okay? You might be in a tense situation right now and you might want to go slow, not go too fast, okay? And lie back, rest and relax. And take some time to rest a little, Capricorn. You know, your energies, your workers, your go, 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 work hard, work hard, work hard. And it might be time to slow down and rest a little, okay? It's all right to rest. I don't know why it's such a dirty word sometimes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use the, um, the good tarot here. Take a minute and connect into your Capricornian energy here. Mm. 
And I am filming this on the day of the new moon in Scorpio. So we'll have some of that energy in here as well. Capricorn. feels like it wants to explode Capricorn Whew. okay and we've got our spread laid out here bottom of our deck is the Hierophant and this is a spiritual energy. It's about agreements and commitments, traditional values, our authority, our conduct, our morality, you know, angels and spirits helping us with this. Under that, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Sun, the Lovers, Three of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Messenger of Air. So this is energy that's in your subconscious, uh, Capricorn, or it's energy that's trying to make its way into you. And so we have this on the bottom of the deck, and this is spilling over. So you might be really spiritually aligned in what you want in your life. Um, you might be in a type of a commitment or something. And I am seeing that energy here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, with the chariot six of the ten cards. So more than half of the energies here are major arcana, meaning they're out of your control. Okay. Um, there are a couple of uh, process energies here that are within your control. Um, so let's get to it. In the middle of our spread, we have the Five of Wands, right? Dealing with everyday oh, frustrations, aggravations, but still trying to push forward and make something happen in your life using the energy you have to manifest or to strategize, to plan, to get ahead in some way. And then we have the Chariot, right? I'm balanced in my energy, and I am moving forward on a path that I have chosen for myself. Page of Cups. This could be a an inner um, inner child energy, um, but this is someone that's on a path of love, right? They're spreading the word of love out there. Love. And then we have the Ten of Wands. They're putting their all into it, too. They're working really hard at it, right? They've just fired up, and they're really passionate about what they want to do in their life. And they have this beautiful, genuine um, childlike passion and energy for it, I'm feeling here. And... We have the call, answering the call, and maybe that's what this commitment is, this commitment with spirit, right? And then we have the magician, right? Strategizing, alchemizing energies, maybe working through whatever this is in your life, Capricorn, right? Using everything within your being, all the skills and tools you have to manifest, transmute energies, heal and make something happen for yourself. In the bottom row, we have the energy of justice, making things fair and balanced, um, coming into your life. Um, and five of cups, right? Some regrets. And we've really turned this around because we're going through a transformation. We're like, we're not staying in this energy. We want to get out of this energy. We want to get past this past what had us sad and down we've turned it around and we've said no more regrets 
we're not going to have this. We're going after what we want. That's why we have the chariot here. That's why we're in a spiritual commitment. Okay. So I like to reverse the energies. We have the chariot moving forward, answering the call. And this is justice for me. All big arcana energies. I'm in my beginning energy of spreading this love. I'm dealing with some frustrations and some regrets in my life. I am completely passionate about what I want to do. I'm transmuting all negative energies in my life. And I'm transforming as a result of it. And transformation is death and a rebirth. I've, I'm a new person now. I'm, I'm different than I was. I've done the healing. I've done the work. Um, I'm different now. Right? That's what you're saying here. This is what we're feeling for Capricornian energy. And right, you have this um, energetic support right now with this change. You know, Pluto rules a generation. And you, for the last 15 years, have been under this pressure to produce and grow and work, work, work. And now someone said, hey, this isn't how I want to be anymore. I'm going to step into my spiritual energy. I'm going to work in concert with spirit. I'm going to make something happen in my life. I'm going to heal. And I'm going to stay in, in this beautiful energy of love while I'm doing it. Okay, now I'm going to take um, Light Sears and we'll clarify some of this for you. Just connect into the energies here. Okay, tell me about the chariot energy here for Capricorn. And that's an ace of pentacles. And the chariot is cancer energy, and um, that is your sister sign. So here's an ace of pentacles. So an opportunity of some kind coming in. And here we have somebody not giving to a situation, holding their energy back, careful with their energy and how they use it, what they do with it, right? They're not entertaining. And they're going forward in their chariot. <laughs> Tell me about the Page of Cups. And that is someone in the Hermit energy. Maybe you're a healer of some kind here, Capricorn, shining your light for other people. All right, and you're in Knight of Pentacles energy, moving at, at a slow pace, some might say, but you're sure of where you're going. You're disciplined, you're practical, you're reliable, and you're going for what you want in a methodical way. And tell me about the Ten of Wands. That is the Queen of Swords. Like she's like, I know my value. I know my worth. I will not entertain anything that's less than I deserve. Um, I'm moving forward in my life. And here I'm noticing everybody is moving in the same direction here. They're all facing forward. What else with the Ten of Wands? Oh, two of Swords, right? Some big decisions here to throw around. Maybe some confusion over the past and how things worked out. But we're getting clearer here now. We're understanding some things better. And that's what the Queen of Swords does, right? She gets clarity. Um, anything else for the Ten of Wands? Right, um, four of ones, a milestone, a victory, something to celebrate coming in here for you. A victory. And tell me about the call. Right, 
right? That strategizing, trying to how to get ahead. What else about the call? The call energy, right? And someone's been in a hanged man, right? They've surrendered to this situation in their lives. They know that they need some sort of help here. And we have the King uh, Knight of Cups here. And this is someone on a path to spread love. Tell me about the Five of Wands. That's somebody in the Nine of Swords energy. A lot of fears and worries. Might be affecting your health and well-being. What else with this Five of Wands energy? Yeah, the Nine and the Eight of Swords. Overthinking, overworried, fearful, not being able to sleep or rest. And what about the magician? Maybe they've worked through some of this energy. Yeah, and that's the page of wands. And this is a message of passion and creativity, right? They're fired up. This could be an inner child energy. And we have the king of cups in this energy. Anything else for the magician? Okay. Tell me about justice, please. <laughs> oh, holy cow. That one went flying. And that's the Eight of Cups. Justice is walk away from this, walk towards your happiness. And then we have the Knight of Wands here, um, a passionate, um, fired up knight, comes in fast. This could be your energy, Capricorn, or somebody attached to you, of course. Um, but they're fired up. They're passionate about what they're doing. And they're walking away in a passionate way, I guess. <laughs> Maybe you've walked away from that, too. Yeah, you've walked away from this Knight of Wands that lied, cheated, stole, stepped away from you, um, that you were collaborating with, you've healed from it. And tell me about Five of Cups energy. That is the Three of Wands, right? Somebody getting ready to take action, to do something. It can also be an energy of receiving something. What else with the Five of Cups energy? And we have our Page of Cups here. So they were in the beginning energy there, right? They're getting ready to come in or make a move of some kind, all from a place of love. Tell me about transformation. What's death and rebirth here? That is somebody in the Five of Swords energy. Um... They're in two of wands, right? I've set this plan. I've put this out there. I'm waiting for it to come in. Um, I want my ten of cups, and I'm the queen of pentacles here. Okay, Capricorn. Uh, 
tell me more about the chariot with the ace of pentacles what's going on over there in that energy that is reciprocal energy king of service moving forward as that the ace of cups judgment and the two of cups going forward with that <laughs> and that's going to be a tower one away capricorn tell me about the Justice, Page of Swords, and tell me about the Ten of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands is here. of a cycle communication coming in <laughs> fast moving energy okay so I think you're leaving um, a connection behind somebody that caused a tower for you. Um, and you're ending up happy in a different way with a different person, I think, here. Okay, so let's go back to our good tarot and get you a takeaway. How does this month wrap up for you? So for Capricorn, how does this energy resolve by the end of the month? What, what's the outcome here when the month of November ends? And this is... Um, the outcome most likely given free will that any actions people take. Okay, 
So we have the hermit energy here. This is someone that goes within, right, to heal. And you have this down here. So you might be in hermit energy, Capricorn. And four of cups, a little bit of sadness, doing a little manifestation. And five of swords really up in your head about something, something that's really, you're walking away from that energy. You're a little overwhelmed and overthinking some situations. Fast moving energy, communication, spiritual downloads coming in. Um, maybe about a king of wands. Maybe this is the energy you're in right now. Really stepping into your power, being a leader. And you're in this page of wands energy. And it's the end of a cycle here. And this is coming in, right? Something is changing for you with this energy. The wheel of fortune is here. When that change comes in, it's going to put you into a hanged man. Okay, what do I do now? What's my next best move when this wheel turns, okay? So that's the reading we have for you here today. So you're releasing a lot of energies. You're moving forward in your life. You're on some kind of path. You're being very courageous. You're taking action with passion. But there's some kind of tower ahead um, for you. And justice is going to come in you somehow here when this tower hits it's going to be justice for you so let's take you know what I'm going to do sacred forest here I've got so much earth energy here and I like this deck for earth energies All right, Spirit Guides, what energies are supporting Capricorn as they go through the month of November? Well, that's a nice energy to be supporting you. Okay, anything else for Capricorn in November? Okay, reflecting pool and stillness. Capricorn, if you can get still, right? So you can think clearly, make some good plans, connect in with your spirit guides, okay? That stillness is important in that connection, okay? And guardians of the land with protection, knowing that you're spiritually protect, protected on this path you've chosen with this answering the call. Toadstools with growth, growth and success coming in throughout the month. Um, phoenix with transmutation, right? You're rising like the phoenix. You're in this magician energy and you're just transmuting energy left and right, plowing through it, Capricorn. And hummingbird spirit with joy, let yourself be happy. And bluebird spirit with gratitude, continue to express your gratitude for everything in your life. It will serve you well. And wolf spirit in family. You may be seen as the leader of the pack in a family unit. You are loved and protected by this family unit. And spirit guardian of summer expansion, right? That energy of summer and growth and expansion is with you right now, Capricorn. 
and spirit guardian of autumn letting go of anything that doesn't serve us right we're in this queen of swords energy and we're just releasing energies we're letting go of the past all the hurt all the pain whatever it was we're just letting it all go in our life and pegasus we're transcending we're rising above it all and we're elevating our energy we are going to be successful with Secret Spring here. We're putting the effort in. We're going to be successful. Air Spirit with knowledge. We're gaining more knowledge. We're going to hear more knowledge. Things are going to be more clear for us. And, and you know, we're moving into air energy from grounded earth energy. We're moving into faster air energy here. And Bluebird Spirit, happiness right? Stepping into happy, joyful energy. Acceptance of the situation in the way it is right now, where you're at in the world and just accepting it. And Eagle Spirit, working towards freedom. This can be time freedom, space freedom, um, financial freedom, whatever it is for you, you want your freedom. And the first card that came out immediately was Miracles, what energy that is around you, Capricorn, is the energy of miracles. You have yourself aligned with that energy, and I can see that here, okay? I can feel that for you. So stay in the flow of energy. Stay aligned with your higher self, and let these miracles unfold for you in your life, okay? All right, everyone, that is the November reading for Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn, I'm so excited for you to have Pluto move out of your sign mid-month. Congratulations. All right, I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your comments and views, and for being here and watching, and I will see you in the next reading. Sending love and light to all. Take care. Bye-bye.